structure and if you remember it's a cardiovascular system it's a part of integral system first integral system first it's in together endocrine glands cardiovascular system and lymphoid organs cardiovascular system have main function it's a transportation blood transport of various substances uh -huh. and uh, heart it's a pump blood vessels network of tubes <coughs> humans have a closed circulatory system in which blood is confined to vessels and is distinct from the interstitial fluid the heart pump blood into large vessels that branch into smaller ones leading into organs and materials uh, are exchanged by diffusion between the blood and the intestinal fluid based in the cell. Three major elements in the cardiovascular system, it's heart, blood vessels and blood. It's a one variant, yes. Maybe some other variant, do you know? If not include blood, it's a blood, artery and vein. Yes? Yes. Uh, okay, the heart, it's a cardiac muscle tissue, partly con inter connected cells and pose chamber <coughs> to atrium and two ventricles. Yes, right and left part. Here, present septum. I think this is two parts and in adult, uh, right and left part. In the heart, uh, absent some connection or opening. Yes. <coughs> Next one. It's a uh, three major circulation. Yes. How many circulation do you know? Double circulation. It's a pulmonary big circulation for organs and third variant. It's a coronary circulation. Coronary. It's especially for heart. <coughs> Blood, it's a complex mixture of cells, water, and various proteins and sugar. 55% is plasma, it's a liquid, and 45% is solid. The pathway of the blood and uh, different vessels, uh, big part of the vessels in human body. Um, here, it's a location heart between two lungs. What structure uh, you finish this information in a uh, uh, respiratory system? What part located between two lungs? I am waiting your answer. What does it mean mediastinum? Dear student, write in, in the chat, please. What does it mean, mediastin? <clears throat> what is the central part? The iPhone. It's a not part. Yes, sir. Change your name, please. Sorry, it's the young. Mediastinum. What does it mean, mediastinum? Write in, please, in the chat. Mediastinum. It's a not division. Not division in a, uh, of thoracic cavity. It's a not part. Last one variant. 
writing place in the chat. <coughs> it's a complex organs. Complex organs, please. Mediastium, it's a node division. It's a complex organs between two lungs. And one variant, it's a, uh, for example, location hot. Okay, uh, here in a section. Posterior mediastinum, medial mediastinum, and anterior mediastinum. Difference with volume. Okay. <clears throat> and heart located in a uh, middle inferior mediastinum. Please remember. So, different vessels. Some vessels have different variants. It's a big version. Um, uh, Variants, uh, biggest portion variant in all human body. It's a veins and other variant. Cardiovascular system. It's a three parts. It's a heart, uh, blood vessels, and lymph vessels. And <clears throat> circulation is a pumping of blood through the entire body by the heart. <laughs> and starting this circulation in a with left ventricle uh, and biggest artery in human body, it's aorta. Starting in a, with left ventricle and big circulation starting in a, with left ventricle after aorta. Please remember. And some chambers of the heart, uh, two right and two left. Uh, right atrium and right ventricles uh, <clears throat> with some function. It will be in the practice lesson very good uh, study. Uh, okay. And um, heart covered by pericardium. It's some layer of the heart pericardium and has two sides with two chambers hot. Blood flows through the heart in one direction and valves control the blood flow. The cardiac con conduction system controls uh, the electrical impulses that cause the heart to control. The heart uh, in a section, yes, it's a big hospital, uh, big hospital or mitral valve, two valves, yes. Trick hospital is with three valves and uh, pulmonary valve and aortic valve. What does it mean circulation? Circulation, uh, I replace this information and uh, coronary circulation, the circulation of blood within the heart. Very important because if some problem with one vessels in the coronary circulation, it's may present a uh, big problem for all body. It's uh, infarctus, yes. Next one, for pulmonary circulation, the flow of blood between the heart and lungs. And system, systemic circulation, the flow of blood between the heart and the cells of the body. Classes of blood vessels. First one, it's an artery. <coughs> artery, it's a um, carry blood away from heart. Arterioles, arterioles, it's a uh, uh, smallest branches of arteries and capillaries, uh, smallest blood vessels. And location of exchange between blood and intestinal fluid. Venals collect blood from capillaries and veins return blood to heart. If including only arterioles, capillaries, venals and vein, without vein and without arteries, it will be microcirculatory bed. <coughs> <coughs> 
blood vessels uh, here in this uh, section is yes, taking blood to the tissue and back. It's a five main uh, structure and systemic circuit. It's a left ventricle first with left ventricle starting aorta. Next are um, systemic arteries, systemic capillaries, systemic veins, vena cava, and right atrium. It's uh, some control work in the practic lesson in uh, this topic may present. And uh, differences between artery and vein. <coughs> you looked biggest, uh, Internal, <coughs> in, uh, internal elastic structure and some valves are uh, present in the vein, uh, in the capillary, a uh, little bit present uh, basement membrane and fenestrate endothelium, especially structure for exchanging oxygen, the oxygen, yes. And uh, here it will be a uh, dumbbell pump uh, the lymphatic circulation. Lymphatic circulation, it's a, um, in the next semester, uh, will be some lecture with <coughs> lymphatic organs and lymphatic system. And lymphatic circulation, it's a uh, Arbas, are you hearing me? Arbas Khan. Arbas, are you hearing me? Not very good connection, I understand. And uh, we start 20 minutes ago, and when some student connecting... No, sir, 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 sir some student technical problem so connected, not the timing. Okay, so. I, uh, all time, uh, when I... Uh, Continue lecture, connecting all students who connecting, and after this is moment, uh, please not writing about this. Okay. 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 <clears throat> and when connecting uh, in a uh, after start, please uh, switch off your microphone. Okay. Uh, lymphatic circulation driven by factors similar to venous circulation, uh, muscle activity, virus, and transpiration. Lymph uh, does it mean it's a plasma uh, and proteins. <coughs> lymphatic circulation collects fluid not uh, reabsorbed by the capillaries and Lymph uh, is filtrated is nodes before return to blood circulation. You look lymphatic capillaries starting, and after this lymph nodes, it's a place where all um, bacteria and uh, viruses <coughs> stopped in a, uh, lymph nodes and crash. Next one, it's a valves. Uh, present and uh, some lymphatic duct moving to uh, blood flow. Here it's a micro circulatory bed. What does it mean micro? Micro. It's a, this microphone only. Uh, microscope, sorry, microphone, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, microscope <coughs> We can look in this structure, and uh, I replay artery and vein. It's uh, not part of the micro micro circulatory bed. Only arterial. Next one: precapillar, capillar, postcapillar, venal. It's five parts of the uh, micro circulatory bed. Some variant when present <coughs> the lymph vessels lymph capillaries it's really will be microcirculatory but without a lymph uh, it's a gamma 
microcirculatory bed and when present only uh, lymphatic capillaries it will be lympho microcirculatory bed so uh, here with the differences and you look big portion connective tissue uh, smooth muscle and endothelium in the artery and vein smooth muscle big concentration uh, in the artery and in the endothelium also uh, vein present some valve cardio respiratory intersystem interaction what does it mean it's uh, when really uh, some systems connecting uh, between uh, other system blood vessels artery uh, vessels that carry blood away from the heart veins vessels that carry blood to the heart and capillary capillaries uh, very small blood vessels that uh, distribute blood to all parts of the body <coughs> It's a makeup of blood vessels, arteries and arterioles, uh, and the telium, elastic uh, tissue, smooth muscle fibrosis tissue present in uh, these vessels and uh, differences in the side, the size uh, you look here. Gas in chain exchange. Alveoli, it's a teeny air sucks in the lungs through the through uh, those walls gases such as oxygen and carbon uh, dioxide diffuse in and out of the blood lungs uh, expand and contracts about 20 12 uh, <clears throat> 20 times uh, a minute arrest uh, heart <coughs> Heart have uh, a special structure and uh, approximately the size if your fist. Yes, it's the same as your uh, hand of first. Uh, okay, it's a really because it's a mm, full same in a section in a uh, when person died and uh, location heart near. Uh, and it's the same uh, really size heart and uh, rest location superior surface of diaphragm left of the midline and anterior to the vertebral column posterior uh, to the sternum uh, in the middle part of the trunk and in the chest yes heart uh, with two four chambers to right and to left the left side of the heart pump oxygenated blood to the body while the right side of the heart pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs where oxygen can be absorbed by the hemoglobin carrying red blood Itself. <clears throat> and we are starting big circulation. Please write in, in the chat which chamber. Left, what is? atrium or ventricle we are starting our time in heart uh, it's a mistake not left atrium left ventricle please left ventricle uh, it's just a part in the heart where starting big circulation please remember left ventricle here uh, why <clears throat> in a section, you were a simple looking in a uh, left ventricle with biggest uh, size uh, myocardium. It's a part where with big portion uh, will start that um, movie of the blood to the aorta. Okay. 
it has some variant via location moving of the blood, yes. And uh, in the section, uh, walls of the blood consist of with endocardium. Endocardium connect with blood in the uh, chambers, yes. Next one, it will be myocardium. Myocardium is the biggest part of the wall. And next, epicardium. Epicardium, uh, it's a cerebral membrane connection with pericardial um, cavity, parietal pericardium. And uh, we have three cerebral membrane in the human body. Who remember what is uh, cerebral membrane? Pericardial uh, pleural cavity. Pleura, pericardium, and peritoneum. Peritoneal cavity. Yes, yes. three cerebral membrane: pleura, pericardium, and peritoneum. Uh, these three cerebral membrane have uh, two layers. Which layers? Visceral layer. Visceral and parietal. Parietal and parietal. Visceral and parietal, yes. Here in a heart, it's a visceral uh, layer of pericardium. It's a, with name epicardium. And parietal uh, pericardium uh, with visceral together, it's a peri. Cardium. It's a, a special sac for uh, heart. Yes. Okay. So, next one <clears throat> in a different movie of the heart. One variant: absent blood in the ventricle. Yes, and big portion uh, in the atrium. As variant in the atrium, absent and present in the ventricle. Here it's a location hard in the mediastinum. And uh, maybe you remember the uh, line between up or superior and inferior uh, mediastinum. Inferior. First point, it's a well, connection uh, corpus mediastinum was with what is part in the uh, sternum? Three parts of the sternum. Who remember? Manubrium, Manubrium body, Manubrium, and body, cephoid process. Parts where connecting Manubrium uh, sternum and body sternum. It's a first point uh, where starting line between upper and uh, superior and inferior uh, mediastinum. Uh, in the back, it's between bodies of fourth and five ventricle, and then cut in a horizontal section. Uh, in this line, it will be superior and inferior mediastinum. Please remember. Okay, and in, in the inferior mediastinum here, a special picture, yes. Uh, in the middle mediastinum, uh, pericardium, heart, and great vessels uh, will be located. Okay, mm, middle mediastinum, topography, heart of the auscultation point. Uh, it's aortic valve, uh, and its location you will uh, re replace this information in a uh, therapy and uh, surgery, cardiology, uh, you will replace this information and will be fine with uh, stethoscopes, a special instrument for auscultation, <coughs> allocation, some valve for uh, hearing this structure. And uh, it's uh, well allocation in the internal cardiac circulatory system. It's a pulmonary systemic and plus one. Which one? Plus one circulation. 
we uh, have this is lighting up who remember third circulation Sukant Nagar, are you with microphone, please? Three circulation circuit uh, in a body. First pulmonary, second systemic, and uh, third, what name third? Coronary. Coronary, great, yes. Coronary, please remember it's very important circulation. Coronary circulation, okay. Uh, next one. It will be information about covering uh, of the heart. I replay pericardium, it's a double uh, walls sac around the heart, composed a superficial fibrous pericardium and deep two uh, layers of pericardium. It's a parietal and visceral parietal layer uh, lines the uh, internal surface of the fibrous pericardium uh, the visceral layer or epicardium lines of the surface of the heart they are separated uh, by the fluid filled pericardial cavity so <clears throat> covering of the heart uh, the function of the pericardium is to protect and unsure and hers, uh, uh, the heart uh, prevents overfilling of the heart with blood, allows uh, for the heart to work in uh, uh, relativity uh, uh, friction free uh, environment. Here, pericardial layers. Fibrous pericardium, parietal layer of serous pericardium, and visceral layer of uh, serous pericardium. Really, visceral layer of myocardium and endocardium, it will be a hard wall. And uh, after endocardium, will be starting uh, hot chambers, yes, and blood connecting with uh, endocardium. Heart wall, it's an epicardium visceral layer. Uh, next one, it uh, will be myocardium, cardiac muscle layer forming uh, the bulk of the heart and fibroskeleton uh, of the heart. It's a crisscrossing interlaking layer of connective tissue and endocardium uh, endothelial layer of the inner myocardial surfaces. Here, uh, for example, only cardiac muscle <coughs> bundle. It's a really big Persian muscle with uh, some line. Yeah, and uh, together it will be myocardium. And the external heart, major vessels of the heart in anterior view, it's uh, vessels uh, returning blood to the heart include superior and inferior uh, vena cava, right and left pulmonary vein, vessels uh, conveying blood away from the heart include pulmonary trunk and ascending aorta. Ascending aorta with three branches, brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid and subclavian arteries. I have proposition now you writing in a paper this uh, slide five minute break and after five minutes who showing to me uh, this is list with your uh, writing with your hand uh, i will uh, pronunciation your name and um, you can draw in some uh, heart near this is words i'm waiting five minute break for uh, you're writing this information and showing to me uh, after five minutes. Five minutes for, uh, please use paper and uh, pencil or pen and writing this information.
Excuse me, Professor. Five minute break. Excuse me, yeah. Professor. Please, you have a question. Check, Professor. Please show in me your book, your paper. And where hard drawing? Mm, hard. In your variant, it's a very simple. And we will continue, dear students. Thank you so much. <clears throat> thank you, uh, Sharma Harsh. I look your book. Yes, Sashin Kumar, please. Your variant. Sachin Kumar, not hearing, and uh, I will be delayed. Please, your variant uh, writing this slide. What, sir? All students writing this information for, to the paper. Where your variant? Let's start. Shivam Mal, Priyanka yes, Saji, Shivam Mal, where are your variant? I'm going the diagram actually. Okay. Uh, Nayana, where are you? Variant, yes, present. Uh, Sank Nahar. Some students have beautiful picture for Zoom, but absent 
variant with drawing, yes, only present with faces. Okay. So we will continue. <laughs> Thank you so much who make this uh, book. It's a heart, yeah. And uh, external heart vessels uh, that supply drain to the heart anterior view. It's the arteries, right and left coronary in uh, atrioventricular groove margin circumflex and anterior interventricular arteries veins, small cardiac, anterior cardiac, and great cardiac vein. Uh, here, in some parts, this is vessels. Uh, it's vessels located in the sun sulcus. Please remember this information. External heart, major vessels, <coughs> vessels returning blood to the heart include right and left pulmonary vein. Uh, and uh, vessels uh, conveying blood away from the heart include aorta, right and left pulmonary arteries. Uh, external heart vessels that supply drain the heart Posterior view, arteries, right coronary arteries in uh, atrioventricular groove, and the posterior intervolar, uh, interventricular artery uh, in ante interventricular groove. Veins, uh, it's a great cardiac, posterior vein of the left ventricle, uh, coronary sinus, and middle cardiac vein. Uh, atria of the heart. <clears throat> atria are the uh, receiving chambers of the heart. Each atrium has a product pro, pro, uh, protruding uh, auricle, uh, pectinate muscle, mark atrial swerve. Blood <coughs> enters right atria from the superior and inferior vena cava and coronary sinus, <coughs> and blood enters left atria from pulmonary veins. Car, uh, ventricle, uh, ventricles of the heart. Ventricles are the uh, discharging chamber of the heart. Papillary muscle and trabecular cornea muscle uh, mark ventricular walls and right ventricle uh, pump blood into the pulmonary trunk. Uh, left ventricle pump blood into the aorta. And uh, it's some variant uh, located. This is track here. Uh, here, left ventricle. And in, if in a section you look and uh, search uh, some ventricles, the biggest wall in a norm, it may present two centimeters in its in a norm. Uh, size of the uh, wall of left ventricle and myocardial of the left ventricle is uh, much thicker than right. You look in a section, it's very simple. Yes. Atrial septal defect, it's when between two atrium uh, present some opening. Uh, in a norm, it's opening present only in a fetus. After birth, uh, this structure closed, and some variant, it's a septal defect, uh, <coughs> may present connection uh, right and left uh, atrium. It's very bad for uh, normal circulation, big portion oxygen in the blood, uh, and uh, septal defect. Okay. Five minutes for writing uh, pathway uh, of blood through the uh, heart and lungs. Please open the paper and uh, write in this information. It will be to uh, control work in a practice lesson with this variant. Please, I'm waiting when you finish.
I will finish here. Yeah? Yes, sir. yes, Professor. Yes, sir. Great. And we will continue. So, this information in a slide is uh, this information in a picture. Yes, we are starting um, to the uh, or, all organs. Next one we will cover superior vena cava, inferior moving to the uh, right atrium, next the right ventricle, in the right ventricle, pulmonary arteries, next one capillary bed in of lungs, where, where uh, finish in the pulmonary veins uh, and finish in the uh, left atrium. Next one it's a left ventricle and uh, restart in the aorta with left ventricle. Okay. Uh, and uh, this information in a schematic, yes, uh, very simple. You can very quickly draw in where uh, located uh, right and left heart and left uh, ventricle. You look with left ventricle starting aorta. Uh, it's a very big elastic uh, artery. Uh, next one uh, with Aorta starting some artery arterials and next uh, arterioles with a very variable uh, radius or diameter yes and uh, exchange it of material with cells uh, in a capillary. Next one it's venous uh, expandable veins uh, and vena cava to finish. Uh, in the right atrium. How many vena cava do you have students? Two. Two, which part? Superior, superior and inferior. And inferior. Uh, inferior. Vena cava, superior. Okay. And uh, very important, it's a coronary circulation. Coronary circulation uh, with uh, aorta in a starting aorta, uh, start uh, right and left coronary arteries. It's very important arteries because uh, this, uh, this artery is moving blood to the all myocardium, all walls of the uh, heart. Here uh, is the, some branches with uh, right and left. Uh, uh, right and left coronary arteries, and uh, you can look, for example, left marginal artery and other part, uh, right marginal artery and right marginal vein too. So, uh, coronary sinus, uh, or sinus coronarium, and coronarius in Latin language, it's a cardiac uh, vein. Uh, start with this and finish uh, veins start in, in the apex uh, in the um, prox uh, distal part of the heart and uh, moving blood venous blood to the uh, vein venous <coughs> uh, sinus coronary circulation uh, is a functional blood uh, supply to the heart muscle itself and collateral uh, roots uh, through blood developed to the heart even if major vessels are occluded. Here uh, coronary circulation or only arterial supply, yes, uh, and you look to in the anterior surface and some structure in the um, anastomosis. It's a uh, when junction of the vessels uh, in the some uh, parts. It's very important uh, because uh, this anastomosis uh, this function when some not only pathology, uh, small portion blood in a some part of the right and or left uh, after this anastomosis. Some blood, uh, some part of the blood may move into the uh, other side, and uh, col uh, its collection uh, very important. Coronary venous supply. You look to uh, present coronary sinus, 
Next one, great uh, cardiac vein, uh, middle cardiac vein, and small cardiac vein, and uh, middle and uh, great cardiac vein have two anastomosis, venous anastomosis in some uh, structure. Heart valves. Uh, uh, heart valves. Uh, uh, it's atrioventricular valves. Uh, Horda tendinia ensures atrioventricular valves to papillary muscle and uh, seminal uh, semi lunar valves prevent black flow of blood into the ventricles uh, and aortic semilunar valve lies between the left ventricle and uh, the aorta. Pulmonary semilunar valve lies between the right ventricle and pulmonary trunk and uh, here you look uh, some structure of the section uh, it's a big hospital or mitral valve, left atrial ventricular, uh, pulmonary seminal valve, uh, heart valve, uh, and uh, papillary muscle uh, in, a, in the internal structure here, uh, too, yes, and uh, its structure in the internal of the chambers. Atrioventricular valve function, it's a big portion blood uh, and moving cusp of atrioventricular valve for direction blood flow and uh, with atrium to ventricle and uh, cusps atrioventricular valve uh, when uh, closed to this structure. So the same lunar valve function uh, here in a growing uh, microscopic anatomy of the heart muscle is the cardiac muscle is striated. How many types of the muscle do you remember? So three types. Skeleton. Skeleton. Smooth and cardiac. Smooth, smooth cardiac. and cardiac. cardiac. Yes, great. It's very good. Okay. And the connective tissue and the mesium act as both tendon and insertion uh, inter. Uh, collated disc ensures cardiac cells uh, together and uh, allow free passages of ions. Heart muscles uh, behave as functional uh, system. And uh, here, microscopic anatomy of the heart muscle uh, in histology, you have a big portion information about this structure too. And heart physiology is a uh, uh, physiology. Uh, it's uh, what book uh, heart and uh, senior arterial node. It's a pacemaker uh, internodal pathway to the interventricular uh, uh, atrioventricular node. Next time, uh, atrioventricular bundle. Uh, or bundle of the geese uh, and purkinia fibrous in a, uh, it's a ways of the uh, Kajal, what does it mean your uh, information in the chat? Kajal so it's, a, it's by mistake yes not understand. Okay. Uh, who are you teacher in a practical lesson? What is a group? Kajal. Yes, sir. Uh, who are you teacher in a practical lesson? Which group? Uh, group 10, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, heart exists. Uh, station related of uh, electrocardiogram. It's a some structure, and uh, now it's a you will be drawing two in a practical lesson. It's very important uh, information for understanding some disorders of the electrocardiogram. Yeah, and uh, extrinic 
innervation of the heart. It's a uh, heart is stimulated by a sympathetic cardiac access laboratory uh, center and heart is inhibited uh, by the parasympathetic uh, cardio inhibitory center. Parasympathetic information, it's a, a 10 pair of the cranial nerves, it's a vagus nerve and uh, sympathetic trunk located near vertebral column. And it's an electrocardiography uh, with some structure uh, and a QR complex you will uh, study in a, a physiology too. And uh, development aspect of the heart, <coughs> you look in the TLL tube is beginning uh, to fuse, uh, to bar, to bar, tubular uh, heart, and next arterial end and ventricles, and flexible, this is structure in the uh, chest, and next one, uh, it will be uh, full, uh, size of the heart uh, and uh, fetal heart structure that uh, bypass pulmonary circulation. Foramen ovale connects uh, to the uh, two atria, and when uh, not close, this is foramen ovale, it will open in and uh, mix blood yeah. uh, with. Blue baby syndrome. Left and uh, right atrium, yes. And ducts, arterioles connect pulmonary trunk and uh, the aorta. Here, example of uh, congenital uh, heart defects. Some variants uh, defects occurs in about one in every uh, five, 500 births. Uh, and ventricle set defect. Next variant, it's a, a correctation of the aorta may present and uh, tetra logi of fallot. Uh, it's two very uh, uh, big defect in uh, walls. And uh, you know, now it's a cardiology very uh, big uh, science and uh, some variant when moving um, uh, change heart with some person uh, to other person and cardiac phases uh, in the physiology will replace this information to uh, all time uh, very good if you will be monitoring your heart uh, rate yes for example it's a touch for uh, carotid artery in the neck, radial artery in a standard in a wrist and uh, count it for 10 seconds and multi the result to by six. Uh, but it really, if you will be uh, in the future, uh, connect with radial artery better for doctors, it's uh, not 10 seconds, it's a 60 seconds uh, all time and understand the presence some uh, may be abnormal uh, tachycardia, bradycardia in uh, one minute per one minute. And pulse uh, pressure wave of the blood monitored at pr uh, pressure points. Um, it's a point when uh, with pr uh, press, uh, may start in some mm, blood to the external uh, with trauma. Cardiovascular response uh, different uh, at rest and uh, whereas ex uh, uh, exercise very good if uh, time to time you have physical training. I, I very simple, uh, very good understand. And uh, for me, very hard to sitting uh, all days near laptop, yes, or smartphone and connecting in a practical lesson better uh, when you have uh, physical training. Please uh, play uh, every day uh, physical training in the morning and uh, uh, when you have some break. And it's uh, vessels, arteries and vein in a, 
uh, human bodies and artery supply uh, the, of the brain. It's a, uh, a cycle of the velisius near uh, pituitary gland. It's very important. Hepatic portal circulation. It's draw you will draw it in your workbook uh, in a practical lesson. It's very interesting to understand where I starting, where I finish, and it's a fetus circulation <coughs> uh, with connection with placenta uh, and connection with heart. And uh, in a finish, uh, you can very simple now uh, draw in this information if you want and. I have some question to you. Uh, group number seven, who leader group? Um, that's me, Karen Amadi. Yes. Um, and um, please, who know uh, who your teacher? Oh, Maria. Yes. What practical lesson was, uh, la what topic in a uh, practical lesson was uh, last uh, practic uh, lesson? Uh, male reproductive system. Male reproductive system. Okay. okay. This is this a system absent in the human body? Please remember a male genital system, not reproductive. Sorry, genital. Yes. In a genital system, present reproductive function, but it's a not all function in a genital system. Okay. Thank you so much. Group number eight. Uh, yes, sir, Shubran Shu. Yes, who is your teacher? Yes, sir, Okri, sir. Uh, what name is Okri? So, uh, uh, Artem Okri, sir. Artem, okay. Uh, and you too have uh, male genital system? So, in last class, we had sir, endocrine glands, sir. Uh, endocrine glands, great. Uh, can you uh, tell me about eight uh, main endocrine glands name uh so hypothalamus pituitary hypothalamus it's a not uh, really endocrine glands it's a part of the central nervous system and i re uh, replace this information oh, okay sir uh, pineal uh, so pineal gland Next, uh, pituitary gland, pancreas, ovaries, testes, thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, adrenal glands. Okay, uh, group number nine. <coughs> sir, I am. Uh, Thomas. Yes, sir. Teacher. Uh, Ms. Maria Bonzer. Okay, uh, last practice lesson. Uh, we had uh, human genital, like male genital system. Okay, uh, please, uh, what is your dream uh, in the future? Which doctor's uh, specialization do you need? Surgery. Surgery, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, please replay, what does it mean, mediastinum? Uh, Mediastinum is a uh, is an organ which contains uh, it's a it's a it's an organ in the thoracic cavity which contains heart, thymus, and a few other structures. Two classification of the mediastinum in the surgery and in the anatomy. Uh, I'm not sure. I know the it's a differences, Basil. In the future, please remember, uh, surgery it's a classification of the. Mediastinum, it's anterior and posterior. Line between yeah. anterior and posterior uh, mediastinum, it's a place where trachea delayed to the main bronchus. And in this is a section in the body uh, delayed, uh, near located, maybe you know the, some structure, it's a carina of trachea. Mm -hmm. Carina trachea, do, do you understand what is it? Carina of trachea. Uh, Carina, it's maybe. a place where located main oh, uh, bronchus yeah. right and left here. And uh, in this is section uh, to the uh, anterior and posterior uh, surfaces will be uh, present this information, uh, this uh, delayed to anterior and posterior uh, mediastinum. 
Uh, in anatomy, it's a, a superior and inferior between a horizontal line uh, in a, via connection uh, manubrium sternae and the body of the sternum. Uh, it's a place okay. where located angle angle of the sternum. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's a one point and other point in the back. It's a uh, between body of force and uh, <coughs> five uh, thoracic vertebrae. Okay, mm, thank you so much. Uh, Basil uh, Thomas, where are you from? Uh, I'm from India, sir. India, okay. Uh, please, number 10 groups, who leader? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir Aditya. Please, mic, uh, videos. Video camera. Aditya Tripathi. Yes. Who is your teacher in the practical lesson? Sir, Artemu Krikse. Yes, okay. Uh, what is your uh, dream in the future? Which specialization in a uh, hospital? Sir, uh, neuromedicine or neurosurgery? Neurosurgery, very interesting. Okay. Uh, what is the... Uh, Willizu cycle. Sir, what is? Willizu cycle. Cycle of Willis here. <laughs> Looking or not? You can see? Um, yes, sir. It's a main information for neurosurgery. It's a vascularization of the brain. Uh, some problem with brain, it's when uh, present absent uh, good circulation uh, in a, a blood uh, in the brain. 